welcome back to Perspectives. Thanks for staying with us. Well, now for a bit of fun. Salsa in the Holy Land might sound a bit strange, but not to the participants of Israel's blossoming Latin music scene. I24 News culture correspondent Daniel Campos sat down with two-time Puerto Rican Grammy Award winner Marlo Rosando on his recent Israel visit and brings us the story. Once upon a time, locally made tropical salsa music was a rare find in the Holy Land. But things have changed in the last two decades. Today, Latin fever in this part of the Middle East is a reality. In Jaffa, Israel, salsa music even helps improve relations between Arabs and Jews, as seen in the documentary Dancing in Jaffa. The southern Red Sea city of Eilat hosts a yearly salsa congress. But the phenomenon of local salsa performers is largely due to the arrival of Latin American immigrants, such as Argentine-born Fernando Knopf, founder of the Latin Power Orchestra, an ensemble made up of Latino and Israeli musicians. Every year, the Latin Power Orchestra hosts major musicians from the world of salsa music. Recently, their guest of honor was two-time Grammy Award winner, pianist, composer, and arranger, Marlo Rosado from Puerto Rico. Well, you know, my experience traveling around the world is that no matter where you go, everybody's associated with Latin music. Everybody loves salsa, right? Uh, you find communities all over the world of people that like salsa, and I know that Judging by what I hear, there's a lot of salsa lovers that are going to come see the show. He's an amazing person, beautiful music. So for us, uh, you know, it's, it's an amazing opportunity to bring him for the first time here to Israel. Beyond being an accomplished musician, Marlo is also humanitarian, volunteering with the nonprofit organization Friends for Global Change. Fire! To perform in Israel, he took a short break from helping the affected in his homeland of Puerto Rico. Once he arrived in Israel, he took the opportunity to visit Jerusalem and pray for the inhabitants of his native Caribbean island. Marlo Rosado had never met or performed with his Israeli host band. I got on stage, I counted the first song, and immediately I knew these guys are awesome. Recording and producing in New York and Miami has given Marlo the experience of working with Jewish musicians. The biggest American Jewish person in salsa is Larry Harlow. He was the producer and for Fania Records. He has many, 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 many records himself. You know, a very, very iconic figure in the salsa world. And his name is Harlow, right? Larry Harlow. We did a record called Harlow Marlow. And it, I mean, I, what can I tell you? The biggest honor in the world is to, to go and do a record with someone that when I was this little growing up, that's who I used to listen to to learn how to play piano, right? Rehearsals, hummus breaks, and a sold-out concert. Marlo Rosado and the Latin Power Orchestra honored Puerto Rico in the Holy Land. <laughs> 